All right, last week, rapper T.I. tweeted out what is a despicable, disgusting, vile video attacking the First Lady, Melania Trump, as a stripper. We're not going to show a lot, but here's a part of it. The left's never-ending and recent vile smears against the First Lady didn't stop there. Last Friday, one of the co-hosts of The View suggesting that the First Lady may have been President Trump's mistress. These are vile attacks. Watch this. Is it possible that she's not concerned with his mistresses because she was one of them? Mm. Uh, Is that possible? Uh no wonder the first lady told ABC that she was one of the most bullied people because it's true. Here with reaction, senior advisor to Donald J. Uh, Trump for president, President Trump's daughter-in-law, Lara Trump. I know Melania. I've had a chance to really meet her. English is her fifth language. An amazing background, life, career. We saw the incredible trip she just took, the dignity, the class she has. If you're not a Democrat, the Democrats are silent. Of course. They only want to go after Judge Kavanaugh or defend Stormy, yeah. but not Ivanka when the C word is used, not you when you're attacked. And the first lady, the attacks on her, I can't imagine that happening to Michelle Obama ever or Hillary Clinton even. The supposed party of women, Sean, is, as you said, completely silent here. I'm waiting for anyone to speak up against this on the Democrat side, and we have heard absolute crickets from them. It's disgusting, and sadly, it's not that shocking anymore because we know that there is no low, too low for the left, for the media, for Hollywood when it comes to the president, to the first lady, and to the entire first family. And I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on. The the First Lady of the United States deserves respect. This is disgusting, and it should be condemned by everyone. Well, I don't hear any FBI calls for any FBI investigations. Uh, Keith Ellison, you know, like they did yeah. Judge Kavanaugh, and some of, of those not. allegations were so over the top. They, it was patently absurd. Uh, I don't see them ever defending Melania Trump ever. Yeah, it's Where's a Hillary? Standard, Where's Pelosi? Where's Feinstein? Double Where's Warren? standard across the board. And, and, and you think about how differently this would have been treated if this were our previous first lady. Again, I think it is horrible. It doesn't matter who you voted for, whether or not you are Democrat or Republican. This is disgusting, and it absolutely should be condemned by everyone. I know you're working on 2020, but an interesting phenomenon is happening. We do have this uh, important election. Things seem to have shifted dramatically, especially in, in the Senate races. I'm worried more about the House. I hope people pay very close attention. If they vote for a, a congressman, they're voting for Pelosi. Vote for the Senate. Right. But you see real trouble for Claire McCaskill, who's been exposed. Bredesen has been exposed. Dean Heller's doing better in Nevada. Uh, Kristen Sinema's collapsing in Arizona. Heidi Heitkamp is collapsing. Joe Donnelly's in trouble. Um, what do you say to people about these House races where I'm more concerned tonight? Well, the entire midterm election is so, so important. And that's why you've seen the president out on the road like he's been. And I think he's having a real impact. You just mentioned all these races, Sean. This is making an impact with people across the country who are voting in the midterm elections. And again, oftentimes the midterms are not as exciting for people to get out and vote in. Oftentimes people stay home. You cannot stay home on November 6th. Early voting in North Carolina starts tomorrow. I was there all day today campaigning with some great candidates candidates down in North Carolina. You've got to get out. You've got to vote early and you've got to vote for Republicans. Their agenda is simple. Impeachment, endless investigation. They want the, the Take crumbs back. back. The tax cuts. Open borders, but don't say it. Impeachment, don't say it. Keep Obamacare. That's the whole agenda. And socialism, of course. I mean, it's, it's crazy what the Democrats are proposing. And I hope everybody's paying attention because we have to keep the House and the Senate in the midterms. All right, Laura Trump, thank you for being with us. And on behalf of so many, we apologize. Our first lady deserves so much better. And it's sad.